today I'm taking the bumpers off of the Mark 1 5. Um, these are utterly simple, not going to lie. Um, you've literally got six bolts all overall from what I can see. You've got two bolts here either side in the boot area, like so. And this, um, to take the nuts off of those. And inside of those is obviously some bolt heads, which are under here in the rear, rear arch, like so. And then the rest, if this stupid thing focuses, here we go. Um, we've got those two there, and then you've got another one there. Now, you can undo them from the bracket here, but I can't, I've got a feeling there's probably some kind of special factory tool for that. Um, I've tried a flat screwdriver, and no matter how much I press push on it, um, the one on the front bumper I tried it on just sort of kept slipping and starting to sort of mess up the edges. So, not wanting to completely mess them up and annihilate them, what I'm going to do is... Um, unbolt it from the bumper lines here because I'll need to get access behind there anyway so yeah take it off of there and there just to be on the absolute safe side then cannot mess it up and start destroying what could well be very very expensive to find a bit place with bits for so yeah crack on I'll show you very soon what's behind it hopefully it's good news right so um I've got this far with the bumper all the nuts and bolts are now out any trouble is, there is a problem that I didn't realise, and it's pretty self-explanatory really. So that, if I hold the camera virtually straight-ish to the car, you can see on this corner of the bumper, that bracket's sort of coming off at a 45 degree angle. Or, not a 45 degree angle, but you know what I mean, an angle. So it goes in like that, and then along into the body to bolt up. And the trouble is, obviously, um, as it gets narrower, it won't go through the holes. So I've got this problem where I'm going to have to try and get one of them off. <laughs> see which one feels more obedient, get one of them off so I can then just sort of pull the bumper out the right angle that it will just come out the hole. So, a little bit annoying, but never mind, I've never taken one of these apart before, so just a few surprises I'm finding along the way. But um, so far though, it doesn't look too bad under here, so happy days. So just an example of what these do when you slip, it's like a standard like cross, standard flat, flat, um, flat head screw really. But on the other hand, this side here, um, I gave them a good, both a good soaking WD-40 on the thread side about 5-10 minutes ago, come back to them and this one has literally just chosen to come undone and I've just realised what an utter clot I've just been because that's not the one I wanted to undo you moron because guess what, the bottom bracket is a problem it's the top one permission to say, you muppet Go. <laughs> that still doesn't like it without two screwdrivers, but it's doing it. Yay! Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, yeah. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> all right so i've got the red bumper off um we've got a little bit of um rot happening here on the sp uh, spot weld between the rear panel and a little bit of rear rear arch but nothing we don't really surprise nothing that's very surprising to me um surface right up here but it is just surface rot from what i can feel so that's good um going along the edge here we've got a little bit of rot on the edge of this rear panel which is a little bit sad but um you have got two or three bits of metal wall sort of sandwiched together, so it's not really surprising either. But overall, considering the fact that it's 45 years old, it ain't in bad nick, I don't think. So, yeah, so far, um, nothing's really particularly worrying me, if I, I think you could say. So, yeah, happy days.